Today I'm hopefully going to show you an easy way to catch lots of crabs, uh, the freshwater crabs on the farm and uh, it all starts with uh, an ingenious trap. If it doesn't work uh, it's going to be a terrible video. Here we are, it's been about a year or two since uh, my old lobster pot which I bought over from the UK um, has been dusted down. Uh, I'll just talk you through it, it's very very basic it's got a little trap door to uh, empty all the bits that you catch two ingress points into like funnels so with them going upwards crab crawls in there, drops down and that's it, it's pretty much in there until you empty it uh, and then the top You've got an ingenious bait holding area. So I'm just going to put a little bit of belly pork in there that's seen better days. And uh, I need to pop a couple of my old broken blocks there into the bottom because this is uh, just a fraction buoyant. And I need to put a new rope on as well and then we're good to go. It is as easy as that. Already caught one dog. All I've done is put a simple double overhand knot there as a stop knot and then a single one there so the rope doesn't pull through. Uh, we've got a little bit of pork fat in there, or belly pork, with a bit of a rock on top of it. Stop it um, floating, it sometimes floats. Uh, and then we've got our two little bits of broken building blocks in there to weight it down and that's it. Right, so that's the easy bit. The hard bit is a, a five minute walk to work where I'm going to place a trap. Now these freshwater land crabs that you normally get in the uh, rice paddies out here in Thailand, you can catch them all year round but now is a perfect time as the dry season's upon us, all the water levels are beginning to drop and there's a lot of dry areas now that were previously underwater. So the crabs will stay there for a little while but as the soil starts to dry out they'll all set, tend to congregate wherever there's any water holding up so our irrigation or drainage canal still don't know what to call it the water has been receding for about a month now and it's gathered into one deep area where we got the macro driver just to excavate a few extra feet deep uh, and this was the reason why, not just for the crabs, but all for the wild fish as well. There's all sorts of wild fish in here. And we've been catching some small stuff, but there's also some big snakehead in there as well. Hopefully, with the crabs all being, look at my palms, um, all congregating into one area, we should get a decent catch in one go but we're going to leave it in a few hours so once that once they're in once they're in the trap um it's very very difficult for them to come out you can see lots and lots of baby fish in here a lot of these wild fish don't grow very big but given time some of the some of the species they do uh, you can start to see little schools of them now these particular ones, they look like they're bacille to me. So they're like a, a small white bait. And he, I suppose if you've got a big one, they're about two inches long, if that. Um, but there's lots of other fish in there that grow to a decent size if people don't electric shock them. And uh, hopefully 
well fingers crossed that hasn't happened on our land for quite some time uh, we never used to do it of course I hate it, I, I think it's a terrible state of affairs. It is illegal in Thailand, I don't know about other parts of Asia, but of course it kills all sizes of fish. And a couple of times we've been into ponds where someone's electric shocked the night before and we go to get the snails and freshwater clams and there's, there's just dead fish floating everywhere, all sorts of sizes where they haven't actually spotted and collected them during the night. It's quite tall the old weed. Not great for Toon's hay fever and I do suffer from hay fever and knock on effect is my asthma but to me this is well worth it. Oh, a little bird just shot out, almost stood on it. That's a nakum, which is like a, it's like a wild quail but even smaller. Oh. It's a dan nest. Nearly just walked through that. That's uh, wasps. And I haven't got my antihistamines out here, so I don't want to get a few belts off them. That's the problem this time of year. Dry weeds, dry grass, you get a lot of these wasps. And this is one of the last areas on the farm that... God, there's another one there. Bloody hell. So I can't get through this bit either. Uh, yeah, this is one of the last areas that hasn't been cleared by Pioi and the rest of the work team. I want to do this with the strimmer. Right, we've got a clear path down there now. I never used to spot the wasps until I used to get stung. But uh, they still do get me from time to time. Right, this is pretty much quicksand in here. Is it quicksand or sinking sand? I can't remember which one's which. Right then, hopefully we can launch this in. Ants are lovely. Right, so we're going to hold that end. Don't let go of it, Lee. And we're going to launch that end. Further than that. I thought it was deeper. do no need to tie this off no flood water gang if you want that pork you're gonna have to go in and get it all right on on that side there isn't any holes but on this side along the bank and I can't see any from where I'm stood at the moment there'll be all sorts of holes burrowed into the banks and most of the time not all the time but most of the time that's from these freshwater crabs they grow to a reasonable size. The males have a, uh, a big old set of claws on them, one, one particularly bigger than the other. Uh, and the females, they, they, grow, they still grow a good size, but they're, they're not quite so big. One of the main reasons that people like to catch these crabs or, or buy them is to make salt crab. And they like to break them up and bash them up in their somtams, which is your, your papaya salad, or you can make it with the footlong beans. But we, we don't really have that that much these days. We do have a lot of somtam but not so much with the salt crab. I think the last time we bought them in the market there were 20 baht for five crabs and they're, they're quite small crabs. Another reason that people catch these, well main reason that we catch them normally other than to eat is they're a great fishing bait and you might think you can't put a bloody crab on the hook and it's when you lift the the shell off them depending on what time of year it is. All right girl settle down. It's not a snake, it's a rope, Jesus. And there's quite a bit of fat in them. And it's, a, it's quite gloopy. It doesn't stay on the hook very long, but it's a fantastic bait. And just about every fish in Thailand will soon lap that up. And because it's quite, uh, quite oily, quite fatty, uh, the fish hone in on it very, very quickly. So it's, uh, it's throw it in, you get a bite almost straight away. The problem is, from a decent sized crab, you probably only get enough to bait your hook about eight times. Uh, and then the other thing is, of course, eating them. Now, some people just grill them on the barbecue and then pick them to pieces. We don't do that. Toon breaks them up, gets the fat out, and then some of the soft bones, soft shell, 
she smashes up as well and then she makes this lovely like a crab fat um, chili dip and it, it is really really good and I, I, I said to Toon when we're walking putting the goats on the island today this is our top of the the bank that goes all the way around our, our goat island um, and we were looking down and we thought oh the, the water levels dropped just nice now the water probably only goes about another 100 yards 150 yards that way and probably not even that just round the corner up there still very very soft underfoot I'm pretty much sure that uh, it won't be too difficult to get a load of crabs I can see some bubbles coming up already often that's a telltale sign it could just be that the traps disturb the bottom and released an air pocket or two but quite often when the crabs m start moving in uh, you'll see little bubbles coming up so we're going to leave this I don't know a couple of hours come back and uh, must remember to bring a bucket let's get back without getting stung there's little bees everywhere if I can remember the way I came in retrace my footsteps I should maximize the chances of getting out here unscathed I first started coming out to Thailand and coming on the farm you wouldn't have bloody caught me walking through here not because of my asthma just petrified of nasty stuff and if I did manage to pluck up enough courage I'd have been covered from head to toe with me wellies on and all sorts now well you just get used to it you see Thai people just walk through here with a shorts and flip-flops I have done that but it, it it's very very itchy we have been asked when are we going to do our next fishing videos we may well come down here and do some standing hooks in here because so we have seen some good snakehead in here but I said to her I'd like to run the strimmer along the edge and then it's all nice and clear for when we come in and come along here at night time it's, it's a lot safer although this looks way too shallow here probably about six inches this is perfect for snakehead at night there'll be loads under there they have bread as well I've been seeing lots and lots of baby fish all different sorts caught, caught lots as well we've been putting them in the lake the ones that we want to keep the naff ones we just throw back right I think just about out not speak too soon Lee but I think cheated anaphylactic shock yet again you can see how dry everything is now all the stuff got that got hacked down my extreme mulch is working though if you're not seeing that video I'll put a link to that at the end of this one Whew, that is hot today not even midday and that is too hot to be out in look at that happy times right let's get out of this sun my lovely wife's made me a coffee so we'll then go and feed the ducks see if we can spot and catch a monitor lizard we've already cleaned the goat house out Barry and his aging harem are all right I need to cut them up a papaya we've got lots of papayas ready at the moment we're not selling all we've got so uh, as they ripen and we can't keep up with them the chickens love them seeds are very good for them as well yeah, let's get back let's get some caffeine Lee. well two hours is up I'm so confident I've got the giant bucket with me hopefully we've got more than five or six and that should be enough for Toon to work her magic in the kitchen I've also got my trusty Edward Scissorhands cut a bit of a path through so it's a bit easier because I'm gonna pop it back in there afterwards so I don't want it too difficult for me to get in and out here later on this bit's not too bad hopes are high ever the optimist but you never know it could be a mother load it could be chuffle the only problem is using this sometimes you disturb a, a wasp nest so we'll have to be careful seems to be 
the more I get stung, the more more reaction I get to them. So we've got plenty of antihistamines always in the house, and uh, hopefully I won't have to use any today. Here we are. Right, so I'm going to make a bit of a prediction. I reckon there'll be five crabs, two little garamis, and a few shrimp in the bottom. That's what I reckon. Right, I'm going to take my Texican hat off, put the camera on my head. I know nogging cam flies around a bit as I'm moving my swede, but it's the easiest way. I haven't got me a lovely assistant with me today. Right, let's have a look. See, I've been talking out my truffle. Right, well, what we've got there is one crab and some shrimp. That is piss poor. That is really, really, really disappointing and a bit of a surprise. Well, the bait's in the right place. Maybe with it being shallower, shallower than uh, anticipated, it's going to be night time that's Going to reap the rewards, so we'll leave that till the morning. Here's a boy. Let's check out his guns. You thought you were getting away, pal, didn't you? It's just cleaning you. Never mind. And a few shrimp. Good bait. So, uh, I might put one on the hook later. You keep a shrimp in a bucket and you just wet the bottom of the bucket, otherwise they'll climb up the side and then make a jump for it. Well, prediction was nowhere near, but at least we got one and um, yeah, I'll do an update in the morning. Early hours of the next day. God loves a trier apparently, so if that rings true, we should have a bucket full of crabs. We'll see. I wanted to get down here at first light, but Toon's crook, she's bedridden today. So uh, I've been flying hand solo. Still got a few th little things to do, but I wanted to get down here and see how we've got on. So I've got a couple more chores to do when I get back to the house, but I'm almost done. All right, I did. Clear a bit of a path as you can see yesterday. Just have to be careful early morning. Make sure you don't tread on a snake that's trying to warm themselves up. No one's nicked my trap. Three pound fifty. My bargain. Probably my all time. You cheeky little bastard. Look at him. Crab on my crab pot line. Well, it's a lobster pot. Got it from a car boot. Peterborough car boot market. Sunday market. Right, let's get this on my head and have a look. Well, that's a good sign that there's crabs about, but it's supposed to be in that plastic cage device. He's gonna leg it as soon as I pull this, I think, unless it's, oh, deed. Deed crab. Oh, that's about 20 kg, that is. Oh, I can see a fish. There's a few crabs, but oh well, I can see two. Let's have a look. One gourami with his head sticking out of a bit of plastic is where he's got stuck. All right, let's have a look. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, sorry, mate. That's giving you a headache, isn't it? Thought I had a big crab then. That's it. Jesus. There's a few little shrimps in there. There's a poor little gourami. 
and it's head stuck there. But I think I'll just launch that back in. This is piss poor. Very, very disappointed. I'll try and get it in the weeds, I think. <clears throat> no rocks, you bell end. These little gouramis are called bagadi. You see very, very long whiskers, incredibly small mouth on them. And uh, they breed like crazy here. You can get these up to about double that size at the most. Um, and there's another variety. Well, there's two other varieties. We've got the giant gourami, which we're growing in one of our stock ponds. And then we've got something called basilid, which looks like these, but uh, they, they can grow up to, oh, I would say a bit bigger than my hand. Uh, they use those for, for dried fish. So it, it doesn't look under the weather. There's no scales missing, so we'll, we'll pop him back in. Good for making fermented fish with, but you need more than one. I think that'll do. What a terrible showing. So one big crab from yesterday. Two little herbits there. Let's just see. I think this is a girl. We'll have a look. Oh no, it's got one bigger claw than the other, so it's probably a boy. Oh no, it is a girl. So you can see across the bottom, it's quite broad. Where is that boy? Across his bum, very skinny. Let's have a look at the other one. The little muddy one is, so say the, the girls seem to be slightly smaller than the boys. That's another girl as well. Now, Previously, when we used to catch not enough crabs, like today, we'd just throw these in our fish ponds because they're good for eating detritus and anything dead down the bottom on the on, on the bottom of the ponds that the fish don't eat. Uh, but we're uh, going to be introducing our crayfish soon, and we don't want a big battle of crab versus crayfish. Certainly, when they change the shells, the crayfish, then they're quite quite vulnerable. And the crab would make short, short work of them. So guys, sorry about that. It's, it's piss poor performance. PPP. But um, these things happen. Even to alpha males that are really good at hunting like myself. So it's still not bad though, is it? Out in the wilderness, check out that sky. Not a cloud up there. That's why I wanted to get down here fairly early. It's about half seven, but uh, it's getting Betty Swallocks already. Yeah, I think we might go and get some wasp, wasp grubs later on today and if Toon feels up to it, we might come down here with the little bamboo poles and see if we can catch some snakehead. We haven't had snakehead for dinner for quite some time. Right, that'll do. Thanks for tuning in once more. Now, if you're not subscribed, hit our mug shots on the end screen and uh, you can check out some of our other videos on the end screen links as well. Ta da for now. Bloody walk all the way back now. Flipping waste of time that video was. That's alright. I still watch it. Watch anything that lot. <laughs>